MB56 is another report, which is a batch we are used list report, which you would be able to, if you want to see the uh, batch traceability. Okay, if you want to see the batch traceability. So batch traceability, or it is also called batch geneal genealogy. So what is going to happen? You would be having one RM. This RM has been consumed in four SFGs, and this has been consumed in one FG. Four SFGs or four SFG batches. From here, you have produced five different FGs. Here, you have produced two different FGs. If you want to trace that this batch is consumed in which SFGs or which FGs, with this one, you would be able to use it. You can do the top, top down analysis. So you can start from this one that in this FG, what materials has been used, which SFG has been used, what raw material has been used, or you can also do the bottom up. So you can start from the raw material from uh, this raw material has been used to produce which SFGs. Checking this SFGs is linked to which FGs. So that full hierarchical tree, you would be able to get it. That's the most important report when you need to do the analysis. You find that this batch, the RM1 batch was having a problem. Now you need to stop the further process. You can you, you would be interested to find that what are the SFGs which we have produced. You would be able to get the SFG batches. You would be able to block them. If this SFG also is consumed into produce FGs, you would be able to find these FG batches. And from these FG batches, you would be able to find if it has been dispatched to the distribution centers or if it has been dispatched to the customer. So that full traceability, you would be able to get it from this report. This is called batch uh, uh, wear use report MB56. Very useful report. Wherever the batch management has been used at the multiple levels.